Hello, today we're going to look at how to analyze proliferation data in FlowDraw. This is a very easy task. You take your proliferation data, drag it into FlowDraw, and do your usual gating. So in this case, I'm just going to gate these proliferating T cells. And remember, proliferating cells will change their forward and size characteristics to what you would normally expect because they're getting larger and they're more granular. Open these up. Actually, we don't need to open those up. We just go to lymphocytes over here, go to tools, go to biology, and click on proliferation. And this will take a few seconds, but it will open up this nice window with this proliferation graph. So it's worked out where the first, second, third, and fourth peak is using my FITSI parameter. This is actually CFSE, not FITSI, but it's worked it out automatically. I think there's six peaks. So if I click on the proliferation tab at the bottom, I can change some of the parameters and I can type in six. And again, this is going to take about 10 seconds to do the calculations. Other options here are fixing the ratio. So if you're, if they're not doubling or they're quadrupling, say, you can um, ask them to, to look for wider peaks. You can say how, how thin the peaks you want to be. You can remove some of the background if necessary. So there we go. It's found all six peaks quite nicely. We have the data over here. To get the data out, if you want the image, you just use the layout editor and drag the proliferation population across. And here's the picture and here's all the, the data. If you want that data, you use the table editor, drag it across again, and create a table. Very simple. Goodbye.